Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Tara, Tara Tiana. And if you want to see how I did these color ombre nails, then just keep on watching. So before we even get into this video, I'm gonna let y'all know now I'm not a nail tech. This is only my third time doing acrylic nails. So yeah, but first things first, I'm just going to use this cuticle pusher that I got from the beauty spa store and push my cuticles back. And then I'm gonna take my 100, 180, grit file and then just remove the natural shine from my nails. So now I'm just going to take my Kiss nail glue and glue on the nail tips and I'm going to be doing double tips. So I'm going to put the same size onto the extended nail. Hopefully y'all that makes sense because the nails come in different sizes so I'm just going to glue two of the exact same sizes together. And I'll do that on all my nails except my pinky because it's a little messed up so I have to use the nail form. So now I'm just going to take a straight edge nail clipper and then just clip the sides like kind of line up both the nails together so there's nothing hanging off. And I'm going to go for like a coffin kind of taper square shape. So now that all the tips are aligned, I'm just going to cut it down to my desired length. I didn't want them too long, but I also wanted it longer than the original tips because I did that on my last set and it just wasn't giving me the extraness I needed. Like I need my nails to be like on point, so that's why I just wanted them just a little bit longer. So yeah, I'm just cut them down and I cut my thumbs down kind of short, like shorter than I wanted to, but that's okay. They still came out looking good. Now that the tips are cut, I'm just going to take my nail file and do like a tapered square kind of coffin shape. Some came out more squarish and some came out more coffin, but that's okay. I'm still new. I'm still practicing, but I'm only shaping the tips so I won't have to do too much fouling once I put the acrylic down. Now that the tips are fouled, I'm just going to blend the tips with my natural nails so it's not so like thick kind of. And I'm also going to foul my acrylic nails. Sorry for the angle. I tried my best to get my finger in it. But this is what they look like after I was done fouling. So now I'm just going to apply my primer and then just use two coats. Do the first coat, let it dry, and then put on the second coat. So now I'm just going to take my hot pink from Valentino Beauty. Everything will be linked down below, so make sure you check all that out. And I'm just going to start applying it. And y'all, this is my first time doing nail forms. So this nail is not looking the best. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Y'all see that in the end. Probably y'all seen that in the beginning when I showed y'all. But yeah, so now I'm just going to start trying to apply the acrylic and start making the nail. After I apply a bead, I'm just going to wipe the side just to make sure the shape is maintained. Because I wasn't trying to go for a stiletto but I kind of ended up getting that kind of but yeah so basically once I apply the acrylic I like to apply it like right in the middle where your natural nail and like the nail form and the nail tip meet then just start working your way up from there you still want to leave like your a little bit of your natural nail exposed so you can put down the nude color so now I'm just going to do the same thing to the rest of my nails and y'all I'm trying to tell y'all I'm not a pro at this, so just like look and see what I do because I'm still learning. I'm not a teacher yet. I probably never will be. I'm just letting y'all know what I do. So yeah, don't come for me. It's only my third time doing my nails and they came out pretty good if I must say so myself.
pink laid down I'm just gonna go in with my nude from Valentino once again and then just go over where I left like my natural nails exposed if that makes sense this is what's going to create the ombre effect so as y'all can see like it was kind of see-through I don't know if the pink was just like too bright or if I just used too much pink I don't know but yeah y'all can see the nude wasn't given the nude that I wanted to but I ended up fixing it on my right hand so y'all will see that as well and yeah, I'm just gonna fill in the gaps with the nude once everything is done I'm just going to use my crystal clear from Valentino I don't know why I didn't show it but I just use that to encapsulate everything so you don't want to make the hot pink and the nude like too thick because you're going to go over it with the clear because you don't want to file away at your ombre you'd rather file away at the clear so like all that hard work that you just did doesn't get fouled away you know so yeah make sure that the hot pink and the nude isn't too thick because you're going to encapsulate it with clear and also use that to build your apex if you don't know what apex is it's like a little hump on your nail that is like the strength of your nail so when you hit your nail it doesn't break so after I encapsulated I just went ahead and filed it I didn't show it because I didn't want this video to be like 30 minutes long because these nails took a very 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 long time so now I'm just going in on my right hand and then just pushing back my cuticles and basically doing the same thing that I did like on my left hand I'm gonna do that right again on my right hand again I didn't show it but I already you know put on my tips cut it down shaped it and everything and now I'm just gonna go in and do the two coats of primer and y'all the two coats of primer is really what's gonna have your nails like stuck on like no joke So on my right hand, I decided to do something a little bit different and then just start off with the nude first. It's kind of hard to see right now, but y'all see it in the next like few seconds. So yeah, I'm going to take the nude and then just apply a thin like coat of the acrylic just enough to where I can apply other layers. So now I'm just going to take my orange from Valentino and then start from the bottom and work my way up because this is what's going to give the actual nude ombre, like nude to pink, nude to orange ombre because I feel like on my left hand it was kind of just like light pink, pink, then hot pink when I really wanted just nude to orange, nude to pink. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and you also want to do a clear coat of this because you're going to go back over it with the nude and then go back over it with the orange and then encapsulate it with clear so yeah, this is what i'm doing and as y'all can see i was switching out my monomers in the back like in that little butterfly cup holder thing so yeah you want to switch the liquid because if you use the liquid that you use for the orange and try to use it for the clear or the nude then it's gonna like make your nails look kind of dirty like it's not gonna give off the color that it's supposed to be given so you always want to change it out i have like the top and the base of the cup one has like clean clear liquid and the other one has like the dirty orange and pink and all that other stuff in there but back to what i was saying that's why you wanted to do like thin coats of acrylic because you can see i'm going back over with the nude just to make the ombre perfect and then again i'm gonna go over the orange and then I'm gonna encapsulate everything in clear and then I'm going to file and everything and y'all let me tell y'all I have been hand filing all my nails because I ordered a nail drill but you know since this coronavirus is out it's slowing down the shipment so I still haven't got my nail drill yet but it's coming so my next nail video y'all will see me using the drill and I hand file and once I get that drill baby mm, it's it's over But in this clip, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm going in with the orange just a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. And I'm really trying to just get the ombre down packed. Like right now, I'm using a little bit of the nude. And then right, right, like right now, 
I'm using the orange and then just trying to blend it together with my brush. So yeah, I'm just going back and forth, doing what I got to do to make the ombre look how I want it to look. Right now, this is what the ombre is looking like, nice and blended, you know, looking right, looking tight. So now I'm just going to use the Crystal Clear from Valentino and just encapsulate it and then start building my apex. And again, the apex is like that little hump. So that's why y'all see me trying to like start with a big bead, let it dry just a little bit and then blend it down just to get the shape. But I'm still learning, like I said, so I'm not perfect, but I just know you don't want to get it too close to the cuticles because that's what causes lifting. That's just what I've learned from all the videos I watched. So yeah, I'm just going to use that clear and make it look how I need it to look. And I will come back once everything is complete. <music> This is what everything looks like all blended and shaped, hand filed by me. The pinky looks a little rough, but it's okay. And then this is the other hand. Some look kind of coffin, some that look kind of square, but it's okay. It's only my third time, you know? It's only my third day out. <laughs> now let me stop. But yeah, now I'm gonna take my um clear gel coat and then just paint my nails and then I'm gonna put it in the gel lamp for 90 seconds. I'm going to do that on both hands. <music> Once both hands have cured for 90 seconds, I'm just going to use my cuticle oil, link down below, got it from Amazon for the low, and it's a big bottle. And just going to apply that all over my cuticles, my hands, my everything, because this stuff smells literally so good. So yeah, this is the finished result, y'all. I'm done. I hope y'all like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. 
yeah, turn on your post notifications, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.